it's really hard to sell our product when people aren't even leaving their houses. All those in favour of selling coffee door to door, aye. 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 Right, I'm five years old. What am I going to do? Sell 15 coffees by myself now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh. Hi, hey. hey, Michelle. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm doing nothing. Um, our, our meeting wasn't supposed to be until three. Why are you calling me? Aren't you supposed to be out selling? Oh, yeah, we were out selling. Went to three houses. None of them bought. So little Ollie chucks a tantrum and storms off down the street. <sighs> Typical. Is he wearing the costume that I said for him to wear? Yeah, he is. I think it pissed him off more, though. Now he's ignoring my calls. He really can pick your staff, Adrian. Hello! Hello! Hey, Uncle Vince. How's the uh, how's home open? Everyone come through? No, no, not yet, but hey, check this out. An old real estate agent's trick. What you do, mate, is you cook biscuits before the buyers come through, right? And that way, when they do come in, the house smells all homely in that. <laughs> uh, I used to do that when I was back in the game. Mate, hey, you still sing to the plan? Yep, yep, yep. What I got here, mate, I got a sample of your coffee right here. All right? So everyone that comes through, we're going to give them one, one cup of your coffee and one of your flyers. Good, good stuff. Oh, yeah, finally. What the hell are you doing? I'm going home. I don't think there are any eucalyptus trees in Yokai, Ollie. <laughs> Shut up. I've been out here all morning going door to door, dressed as this Aussie, the, the coffee koala. Hmm? What's that? And I'm female. This doesn't exist. Dude. Three houses. Three houses we went to. Yes, exactly. Their houses where they make their own coffee. Well, why are you so afraid of competition? I tell you why. Because our chief competitor is a kettle. Mm? Just pop into Kmart, $9 for infinite coffees. Yeah, good luck. You're providing barista-made coffee. Well, that's what I said. That's what I said. But the guy said, oh, oh, if I wanted that, then I could just go to the servo. I could get servo coffee. Servo coffee. Can you imagine? Adrian, what are you doing? I'm not giving up, man. I'm sick of you whinging. I'm going to try and sell a coffee. Look, I think we've just got the wrong approach. We just need to alter it, change it a little bit, but we need to keep going. Well done, Adrian. Yeah, great. Now I can experience the same rejection from the comfort of my own phone. G'day, mate. Uh, my name's Adrian from Coffee Stop. I've just parked out front. We've cooked fresh coffees. Do you want to buy one? Yeah, I've got a coffee. What do you have? Awesome. Um, I've got a cappuccino, a long Are you black, serious? or an espresso. Cappuccino. Oh. That's four bucks eighty. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just go inside and get the cash for you. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. All right. Impressive, Adrian. Great salesmanship. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I actually did not expect that to work. Yeah, okay. Don't get too carried away. He hasn't paid for them yet, has he? It's all right. He'll be back. But, dude, this is what I'm saying, man. It's just persistence. You just got to keep trying. Speaking of, Uncle Vince, sounds like you've got a potential buyer there. No, nah, no. Nah, I just got a message, mate. It's Japua from Uber Eats. <laughs> Here you go, mate. Thanks, mate. Good on ya. <laughs> Are you serious? Is, is that servo coffee? Fitz, I gave you ten freshly made coffees this morning. Yeah, I know. I just prefer the taste of this one, that's all. We can't even get our own employees to drink our product. Hey, look. Look at the price. Check that out. Uh, how much was delivery? I don't know, 12 bucks or something. I know. Wow, you've really assembled the business dream team there, Adrian. Yeah. Hang on a sec. I think yeah, I might have burned them. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, uh, old mate's taking his time with the change, isn't he? Don't worry, relax. He's obviously still looking for it. Nothing to, nothing to panic about. Ollie, you have missed the point. 60% of businesses fail within the first five years. Oh, great. That's a great motivator. No, because the owners don't stick it out. They quit at the first sign of resistance. It is persistence that equals the profit. Mm. Okay, fine, but how do we beat that resistance and get these people to buy our product? Well, as your marketing consultant, I have quite the PR stunt for next week to put you right in the public eye. Dude, regardless, it sounds like you're stalling. Just do what I did, pick a random house and try and make a sale. Man, we're on a roll, I can feel it. <sighs> fine. All right. Okay, I'll do it. Here we go. Yes, okay. good. Well, I must say I'm very impressed and surprised by you both today. And I have a really good feeling about this. Oh, yeah. I have a great feeling about it as well. They're going to think I'm an absolute mental case. Look at me. Do you want to buy a coffee? Mm -hmm. Who are you supposed to be? <clears throat> hey, Ollie. <laughs>
Look at you, eh? <laughs> Long time no talk. You want a biscuit? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Quite a thing, my guy's coming back. 